This is John 10 and verse 7. Then said Yahawashai unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Kal halal Yahawah, by Hashem Yahawashai, by Hashem Rukakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the brothers on down, teaching and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, and greetings also to the few sisters that tune in to these video epistles. We've called this lesson, Yahawashai is the door. Yahawashai is that door. See, we're quickly approaching this, um, some might call a season finale. You know, you're watching a series and there's a build up. Week in, week out, you tune in to see what's going to happen next. Well, we're getting to the final scene. The movie director, whose name is Yahawa, meaning he is, and his only begotten son, his name is Yahawa Shai. He is the redeemer. He is who we're speaking about comes in the volume of the book. That's, uh, Psalms 40 and 7 repeated in Hebrews 10 and 7. See the door to that ark is soon going to be slammed shut. And even Noah preached this same message 120 years. People laughing and mocking and scoffing who do you think you are? There's never been any rain on the land before. And even as I speak, there's a sideshow taking place in the UK with their politics. So the smoke and mirrors are continuing while the uh, Russia is forging new links in the backyard of Babylon the Great with Venezuela and other Central American countries. I think Nicaragua is uh, signing up some sort of military agreement. So all this is accelerating the time when this door, the door to the ark, is about to be slammed shut. And so I call this lesson, the Hawashai is that door. But it's obvious that that door is being rejected by the vast majority of who is open for which is the Hebrew Israelites only and on this go around the elect of the house of Israel you see we're currently being called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans and of course the speckled bird all across the globe who, whose line goes back to their fathers. Their father's line goes back to the Hebrew Israelites. So let's get some scriptures here. Actually, let's read a few more verses in Genesis 10. and start at 7. Then said Yehoshai unto them, again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. I think I had a definition here. So thank you, just a moment. There's a 
or a definition here for this word door. A simple definition. A movable structure used to close off an entrance. You see? And the purpose to provide security, safety, and of course, privacy. So this door, this stumbling block, who is Yahawasha, he's being rejected as we speak, as were in the days of old with Noah's message. He was being laughed at. Let's get through a few more scriptures here. Um, let's try Luke, I think is next. What about Luke 11, from five to about 10, and he said unto them, which of you shall have a friend and shall go, this is a, a parable of Yahawashai, red letter, and shall go in unto him at midnight night and say unto him, friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine is in his journey to come to me and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, trouble me not, the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed, I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. And I ask, I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the, it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Just remember who is speaking to who. Yahawashai is speaking to his disciples. You see? It's not for everyone. As we say, let's not get it twisted. So what about another scripture here? Let's try Ephesians, I think. Ephesians 2, a few verses here, 2, 18 to 20, for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High. Verse 20, and are built upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets, the Hawashai Hamashiach himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Let's keep it moving here. This Hebrews uh, 10 19 to 22 having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Yahweh Shai by a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh and having an high priest over the house of the most high let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water which water is that i think it's john 7 and 38 is the that truth, knowledge, and wisdom given unto us from the Ruach HaKodesh, making us, setting us free. That's that living water springing up inside. What about Isaiah? I think we have two verses here in chapter 59, 1 and 2. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities, that is, multiple sins, have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. That's what this door is paving back that way back to the Father. So let's have a look at what happened. Let's go right all the way back to uh, Genesis and see what happened here with Genesis 3 and 22. And how a power said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore, the 
the Lord power sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. See? So we got ourselves in trouble, so to speak, that our way was blocked to this knowledge this wisdom that door our shy which he's open unto us through his sacrifice that is what is opened let's get another scripture here i think i was going to go to one in corinthians quickly if we can get that let's go corinthians 2 and verse no, it's Corinthians 5 18 to 21 and all things are of the most high who hath reconciled us to himself by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation that's what this door is offering to wit that the most high was in Yahweh Shai reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation that's a really important word re meaning back and conciliation back back in the favor of now then we are ambassadors for hamashiach as though the most high did beseech you by us we pray in you hamashiach stead be ye reconciled to the most high for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made righteousness of the most high in him okay let's see if we can wrap up here let's get romans 5 and 6 to 10 for when we were yet without strength in due time amashiach died for the ungodly there's that door for scarcely for a righteous man will one die yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die but the most high commanded his love toward us that while we were yet sinners Hamashiach died for us much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him what wrath is that the devastation that is coming to the earth fire intercontinental ballistic missiles and laser fire from the angelic army that is soon to appear in the skies verse 10 for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to the most high by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life a man yes i think we can conclude it we can conclude it there there's, there's always more scriptures but the point I wanted to put forward that the spirit was on me to raise in this lesson is that this door Yahweh Shai it's closing very quickly and as was in the days of Noah where all the preaching is going to come to an end, all the teaching, all the sit-downs, all of the consideration as to what, what can we use for edification for a lesson. All such considerations are coming to an end very, very soon. And so this door, people are coming with their, their scoffing and their their own points of view, what they think, their philosophies. This wicked kingdom have afforded everyone a mouth, and freedom to speak, or so they think. It's their illusion. It's all coming to an end. So let's call it quits and end the lesson. You've been listening to Yahawashai is the door. Shalawam until the next one.